Hello guys, here is uh, my another video where I'm using uh, Arduino Nano along with uh, this uh, Bluetooth uh, HC-O6 module and I have also got the HG, H, sorry, Bluetooth HC-O7 too but I'm not using it for this tutorial at the moment so what I'm trying to do here actually I would like to connect my Bluetooth to the mobile application where I'm going to give a voice command to activate this LED. It's just the main reason of this this tutorial. This main main reason I'm building this tutorial is to is to open up uh, open up the area to work on in terms of uh, if you wanted to make create something voice activated using your mobile phone, create an app, create an app what you want on it. And so you can create a voice activated, and uh, with this voice will come on. Will uh, voice will be processed in here in the Bluetooth in your handset, Android, Android handset, and uh, it will transmit a uh, transmit a uh, string, string of command. Let's suppose if you say turn on particular device, it will say like let's suppose lights on. So it will say lights on string on uh, serial it will transmit the lights on a string to the on the bluetooth you to do this device to the bluetooth receiver and this will be communicating to the Arduino, Arduino, Arduino nano and uh, you can process this all this command a uh, command inside and you can turn on anything you want it's basically it's just an interface of all these things in one platform so the connections which we are doing in uh, in this Arduino, uh sorry hc O6 module are in need of 5 volt which I'm using it from uh, nano itself right here and uh, second one is using uh, transmit and receive which is a straight serial connection so rather than using this hardwire serial connection which is just right here because it will conflict with the USB if I connect the USB 2 at the same time what I'm doing I'm using a software serial library for that purpose so I have connected transmitter and receiver on pin number 10 and 9 I will be linking the code as well in itself so code will be there so it's, it's easy to follow code it's not a big hard big, bit difficult sort of code so let's let me power up uh, the device and show you how how this all works so code will be there too if you got any question please do let me know about it so here you go Arduino is powered there you go it's booting up it's ready to run and uh, when you see this Bluetooth device flashing like this that means it's uh, it's powered up but it's not paired with any device so what we're going to do we're gonna pair it up all with our device now now the main understanding is right here right here you need to make notes if you like to is uh, I have started my blue now first thing is first I'm gonna put it right there okay okay right there okay I'm gonna turn on the Bluetooth first okay Bluetooth is on second thing is because I have been using this one from, from a long time so we're gonna go to the settings right there Bluetooth so I need to connect to this HC uh, sorry I think this device is not there so I'm gonna make it visible first to find the device Bluetooth make it visible find the device search for that if you'll search for this module which will be coming up as an uh, I think uh, Lenovo I think sort of Lenovo yeah there you go it's a Lenovo right here Bluetooth instruction could be the similar one for all devices and the pin number for this device is which default is one two three four so you press done connect it there we go let's see if it's connected first there you go it's connected and you can see it on the top here right there now you're going to go back on it but from uh, your from Arduino market from uh, Android market I'm sorry from Android market you have to download one app which is called ARM sorry AMR underscore voice so it's basically an app which is created by someone for the robots so what I'm using actually the way this app work it, it uses a Google Google uh, voice recognition uh, bits on the behind so 
whatever voice you will transmit on it it will convert into text message and text into a text okay and we'll send that text on on bluetooth and uh, bluetooth which we have connected our bluetooth which is on our which is connected to our machine connected to our Arduino project so we can go press the connect scroll down find our find our uh, bluetooth device which you can see right there okay press that one okay and look at in the bottom okay it's connected to it once it's connected to it you will see this light right there it will be steady light that so now what we're gonna do actually we're gonna give a command to it so let's if i hold this button right here if i press it so i say on it detects something else on it so i have to be I, I have not to speak at the moment so on there we go it's on and because as you can see the light came on as well this blue light came on as well it's connected on pin number four anyways if you like to know about it the program will be linked in the in the comments below so it will be easy for you to understand it i'm going to turn it off now off there we go on off oh there you go you didn't found it so try it again off there you go turned off so that would be all i'll be i'll be putting this all uh, tutorial again into a practical sort of application where i will be turning on one light complete light the, that my that project will be all related to because i will be sending a signal you using a fm sorry uh, rf uh, rf transmitter rf transmitter back to a socket and plug which has got a rf receiver built in onto it rather than building rather than inventing a wheel from the scratch i will try to use the parts which are available around us so it's easy if you wanted to build something in your home automation to make make more sense out of it sort of so i will try to build up that application as soon as possible and put it on too so and with couple of more commands into it like uh, next time i'm going to build up quite many leds so i can tell quite a lot about it i suppose i'm going to assume it like what's light on what you know put light one on so put light on to you know quite, quite a lot of it quite a lot of uh, uh sort of a uh, functions out of it so it's easy to understand it if you see the basic or you will easily understand it if you are struggling with anything please do let me know i will be happy to help and thank you very much for watching my video and if you like it please press the like button or if you wanted to if you are interested for me to put more videos in the future please do subscribe for that i will be i'll be posting i'll try to post the video every entry android adreno videos every week once once a week actually try to do that but uh, you know always busy with works thank you very much for uh, watching my video anyways cheers bye bye